flow through the engine. Something you can go to here is a 3D graph. Now, what we've done is we've just taken that whole 16 by 16 table and we're now reviewing it in a, uh, in a graph form. So, as you can tell, we're running down around right in here. And if you want to make a change, you can do it in a graph form as well. Bracket keys, the same as you would normally, up and down. Okay, you can also take and do, do uh, chunks of it. If you want to make a uh, change to more than one area, take it like this. Come across, click and drag. Now you've highlighted this area. Bracket keys come up. Bracket keys go down. Press enter. So again, this gives you an idea and gives you a nice way of, of looking at the graph so it, all the numbers aren't kind of jumping out at you. And it gives you the ability to look at it, make sure you have a nice smooth fuel curve. Again, notice that the highlighted area demands the most amount of fuel is not at your max RPM. This particular application is developing its peak torque and that's when it'll take the most amount of fuel. Spark table, it's F3. Again, these are all infinitely adjustable. You can, if you're cruising down the road and you're right in this area here, you can change this for a nice, nice cruise, high advance. You push enter, and now the change has been made. No changes in these three screens, F2, F3, and F4, are effective until you press the enter key in your keyboard. This is one of the next steps. Don't get hung up on these numbers. This is your tau, your F11 table. The spread between these two lines and the lower the number will give you more fueling. In other words, this spread here, if I were to lower these two numbers, yet cha not change the spread, that will add fuel upon depressing the accelerator pedal. This is a transient fueling table. This is only active when you're moving the pedal or load is changing on the engine. Those are one of your transient fueling tables. You have a few, you have your TPS rate of change. What this is, is how fast you open the throttle. If you open the fat throttle very quickly, it'll go more to the right. If you only open the throttle uh, slow, more slowly, it'll stay here to the left. This is, a lot of times what'll happen is this is essentially the same for you carburetor guys. This is essentially the same as the pump cam on the accelerated pump system on a carburetor. Same with your towel, your F11. This is essentially the same thing. This is an infinitely adjustable accelerated pump cam. That's essentially what this table is. By massaging these numbers up and down and changing the spread, you can get your drivability. Okay, press enter after any change is made and it will send it to the ECM. Okay? Um, the other table, the other transient fueling table, come down here to your, your map, is acceleration modifier. This is essentially, again, for you carburetor guys, the initial pump shot. When you first hit that throttle, the shot of fuel that would normally go into the throats on a carburetor, this is essentially what this is. The nice thing about fuel injection is this is temperature related, so you can have more fuel as the engine is colder, less fuel when the engine's warm. Hit the button, data transfer complete. On anything other than configuration tables, you'll want to press the enter key in order to make a change stick into the ECM. Okay. When you're in any screen, just press F1 and your help menu will come up and tell you exactly what it is you're looking at. So this is a, a great tuning aid and will really help you in deciphering what, you're, what it is you're looking at. F6, you'll, as you make improvements, make changes and your application runs better and better, you'll want to save that to a file. You can name the file anything you like. You can put marks 350. And if you press save, it'll save it to that file, all uh, at the click of a mouse. So hopefully this is, explains everything that you'll need to know in setting up the system. Again, when you have a plug and play system or you have a, a application specific system, a lot of these calibrations will come in pretty close to where they need to be. And the wideband O2 makes up for a lot of discrepancies as well. As you can see here, it's doing what it has to do to correct the uh, pulse width to achieve the desired air fuel ratio. Again, as you make improvements, save it to a file. That way you have a great starting point the next time around. Now the thruster EFI system calibrates the same way that any speed density system does, just like an Excel Gen 7, it's bigger brother. 
However, I think the software is head and shoulders above anything else that we know of that's in the marketplace today. For any of the items on any of the drop-down screens that we haven't covered, just highlight that item and press F1 for the help screen. So there you have it. You've now just installed and tuned an Excel DFI Thruster Series Engine Builders Kit. If you have something other than a Ford or a Chevrolet, like I do here in the 72 Olds, Excel also offers throttle bodies, fuel rails, injector bungs, as well as fuel pressure regulators to adapt virtually any intake manifold for any application. If you have any questions, further questions, hopefully we've been able to answer everything that you have. But if you have any further questions, just go to excel-dfi.com, punch in your zip code, and all the local authorized Excel dealers will come up. You can give them a call. They'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark Remmel. Have a great day.